Oh, I've known him for years. I've known the first time I saw him, we were like six and went to a party to a, and I told this story on, on his show. We went to a party and I think a Halloween party, I think I went as a dress with the boobs hanging there. Somebody had a Hawaiian shirt on, somebody dressed as the cowboy. He came as Leonardo da Vinci with the, with the Mona Lisa, the painting in his arms, and half of it was done by the numbers. And I thought, whoa, let me meet this guy, you know. So we wrote some things together and he, uh, he did something. He never wanted to be in the business. He just wanted to play golf. And uh, actually, he got in the business mainly because of what happened to me. I was really, I don't know if he ever knew this, but we were doing a show. Uh, this was going to make me. Here I am, like a st associate director. We did a show for the uh, Emmys, local Emmys. And Dave Barnard is a brilliant writer. We wrote probably the best show ever. And I had, I was a star of it. Oh, it's funny. It was just really, and we're going to go on. This is going to, and everybody was in town that night. All I get, this is going to make me. The engineers went on on strike, so that killed that. So we didn't know what to do. So Bob and he said, Bob, can you write? You know, because he had a funny when piece of material had come on. Can you write a piece of material for it? Just because the show is going to be live. All the stuff is out the window. And he wrote the uh, Abe Lincoln's uh, press agent. Killed everybody. Killed everybody. Everybody was there. Head of Warner Brothers signed him up. Uh, the press next day was in headlines. He just, it was the biggest hit ever in the entire world. And I just cried. And then I went on to audition for Jack Parr with the same material that I wrote with them. And they thought I was copying New Art. And I cried and quit. Never went back to stand up. That was just, that was over for me. They said, You're doing New Art. It was my bit. It was like, you know, it's like, you gotta be kidding. So that was a killer. That was a killer. And then he made it. I was happy because he was such a great guy. And then he came to, we didn't have an act. He had to have six pieces of material and go down to Houston and do a show. And, uh, but he was always his, I'm not, he's, he's the funniest man. I mean, he's just, you watch those things of his, they're beyond, button down mine, beyond a genius. He's just, I can never write like him. I wasn't funny as him, but I'm taller than he is. So that's, no, he's really a, but I break him up, right, honey? I break him, I tell you, we couldn't do the show half the time. Grant Tinker called us in one time and said, you guys are going to have to stop this. You're embarrassing the guests. You're laughing. We couldn't work it. I'd walk in. He'd see me. He'd turn away, and I'd, he'd bite his lip, and I'd have to work with him this way. We just, I don't know what it was. And he'd always say, I have outtakes with him just laughing. i walk in a room. He said, what's that laugh? What's that walk? And he'd just crying with laughter. Cut. It was just a... Uh, We'd be, I'd be sitting on the couch, and I'd say something, and he'd just go into laughter. And we'd have to, these are on outtakes. He would just go, I can break them up. I really can break them up. So that's cool. And God, I love him. Oh. <laughs>